So the uh, other day I had recorded a video about uh, fixing my stereoscope here and it, uh, the audio got messed up. So I'm going to try to dub over and, and redo the audio. Uh, but basically my camera port on it was uh, just freely spinning. And it's not just the camera, it's the actual prism and everything. So I would completely lose focus and I mean it's, it's just almost unusable. Because uh, anytime you move the scope, it would just mess up. So I'm going to go through this video, show you guys how I took it apart. Um, it was pretty, it was actually pretty simple. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to get your lenses off of there. Uh, so I'm going to take my nice lens off. Uh, you can take the eyepieces out too. I think I ended up leaving them. Yeah, but you see they unscrew, you can take the whole thing off. But I ended up leaving them because I didn't want a lot of dust to get up in there. Uh, here... I had already removed these, and it was a mistake to do so. Uh, what these are is they're, two, they're four screws here, but for each two, there's a bar connecting them. And that's used to hold the case together. But what you should do is only take out one here and take out one here. Uh, so the bar doesn't fall, and it's easier to put back together. And then for the hand... The, the magnification knobs there, it's just they got two Allen screws for each one. Um, and the camera port, I think I was, I can't remember what I was talking about here. So, all right, we'll just keep watching. I was probably rambling about something. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to start taking, taking the knobs off there. And I think there might be different styles of this. I don't know. Uh, this is the AMSCOPE one. Um, if you don't see any knobs on it, then, I mean, any holes in your knob, then it it's probably comes off a different way. It's probably like a screwed on one or something like that. Um, but I'm taking off the camera port here. And the knobs and the base of the camera port are the same Allen, Allen wrench. Uh, let's see, and then we have some screws that are going to be on the bottom. So here we go. Um, there's four screws. There's a screw here, 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 and here. And then like those little small four screws that I was talking about earlier. And then the handles. That's pretty much all that's holding this case together. So it, it, it's pretty simple to take this thing apart. So we can figure out what's going on with this. Now, I don't need to mess with those other screws. You know, first let's just get the case off of it to see what we're working with. And even without the screw, it's kind of, you know, it's like a press fit. And uh, I've never been in one of these before, so I was being a little bit more cautious. I didn't really want to dig in there with tools, but... There we go, we can see the inside, we can see some of the gears for the uh, magnification, and there we can see a hole for a set screw. So the lens is held by a set screw, you know, held in place, the third eye there. Um, I was trying to be lazy and not take that handle off, but I did have to take it off to remove both sides of the case. And then we can see a better picture of all the set screws. So we ended up having four set screws. We had one in the front, one in the back, and then one on each side. And they're all the same size. And uh, they're the same size as the little magnification knobs and the, you know, this part of the camera port. And it's all that same small one. Um, so there's one thing we do need to make sure we line it up. And the only way I could think to line it up was to uh, put the camera in, and I was going to try to view it, and me, I don't know nothing about optics, that took me a second to realize that it's too much light coming into the scope that you couldn't see anything, so I had to put the case back on, and we'll, we'll see that here in a, in a little bit. Um, but that that's the, you know, the piece for the camera there. It reflects, it reflects off of this, so like your I guess the light comes in through the bottom and it reflects off of this and then to this. It's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat setup. Okay.
Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to line it up. I'm going to use this uh, computer here so I can look through so I can look through my eyepiece and line everything up straight. And uh, when it was turning, I noticed that, you know, it would have like, if it wasn't turned right, it would be all black on one side or it would have like a black shadow in it. Uh, so I was pretty sure I could line it up like this. And, you know, seeing this white, I, I kind of realized quickly that there's just too much light. And plus, I forgot my lens. My lens is off right now. So I, I think I realized there's too much light. And then, yeah, I put the case on. And then I realized I have to put my lens on. So, if you have the same problem, you might want to line up the eyepiece first before you take it apart. And, you know, mark the case. Uh, you'll see how I mark the case here. And so, so my particular mounting piece here has three little set screws on the bottom. And what I end up doing is... Once I have it lined up, I mark each set screw on the white case. So where that set screw is at, I'll, I put a little mark. And then I know that, you know, I can take the camera off to see where the marks are at. And uh, let's see if we can see on the camera. You see there's really no black on the edges. Just a little bit of black shadow on the edges here. That's how I know it's lined up pretty good. And uh, I'm not really concerned about the camera, you know, the, the image being straight in the camera because I'll adjust my camera later. Mostly I'm just worried about the black shadows in the edges. Um, so, yeah, here, so here I take the marker, I mark them. And truthfully, you only need to mark two because... Uh, you can't leave the case on there to tighten the set screw, so you have to remove one side of the case. Um, so you, you want to make sure that you have two set screws on one part of the case that you can, you know, mark and then remove one side of the case so that you can tighten up one of the internal set screws. And then you, you know, once you have that one set screw tightened, you can carefully remove the other case and just tighten the rest. And, uh, you know, it might not be 100% accurate, but it, it's it's pretty easy to get it close enough, I'll say. And uh, I think I double-checked with both of my lenses. I use a, a 0.5 lens a lot, and I use a 0.7 a lot. So I, I think I check with each one of them, but I'm, I, I think I tighten it first. So here I took the camera off, and I'm being really gentle, because right now it can spin. And I do have the marks up there, but still I want to try to keep it from spinning. So you, you still want to be careful with it. And uh, it's kind of a pain, because of the way the thing does snap together. But it's it's not too bad. It's, it's actually very simple. Very simple uh, thing to do. Okay, so here, um, I only have one mark because on my particular scope, um, so mine only has one mark, but that's okay because this edge right here was one of my marks. I only had to mark here and here, and then one of my set screws were actually perfectly on this line. So that's why you only see one mark here. And now I had the one set screw tight, and now I just go around and I tighten this one, and I tighten this one over here. And I try to get the back one, but the way it's positioned, it's, it's really difficult to get it from straight in. Maybe if you have like a 90. 
Allen wrench, you could do it, but I, I didn't particularly have one. And I think three out of four is probably plenty enough. And like I said, it's very simple. Oh, here I'm talking about this thing, and you know, I have no idea about optics at all. So I don't, I don't want to pretend like I know anything. I was just saying how neat it was and uh, how you would expect this to be straight if you were just trying to wing it, but it's actually very angled. So you, you definitely want to put your camera on there to align it. You don't want to just try to guess at it. And it's very sensitive. You know, you go just a hair to the left or just a hair to the right, and the, your picture is way off. Uh, but here I want to test. Oh, here I'm talking about that bar. This is the bar between the, you know, the two cases here. Um, and I want to test this before I fully put it together. But if it works, I don't want to have to take it apart again, unclick it again. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bars on this one side of the case. So you'll see, you know, I, I just screw in this one side and get it nice and tight. And that way I can stick it together. And if everything is good, then I just put these screws in and put the four screws in, in the bottom. Uh, and you know, don't have to take it back apart. So let me fast forward again. I think this is me fiddling with the screw. Okay, so I do. I got both of the little bars in. Oh, I only had one in. Yeah, that was pain. That was a pain trying to get that little little screw in there with that bar. That's why I I really recommend when you take it apart, you only take off one side, and you will not have this problem. And, and you do have to put the case back on to test it again because of the light. Uh, but let's go ahead and see here. I was testing everything. And let's see. I think that's about it. There's really not much more to it. Um, the reason it's still turning right now is because I don't have the camera holding set screw in. The port itself is firm now. It's not moving. But, you know, the external camera part, I haven't tightened yet. Um, I just want to concern myself with the alignment of the lens, the internal, you know, uh, port. And you can see here, it's still kind of black. So I didn't do an excellent job. It's still a fair job. Um, and you'll see it's kind of black still in this corner. Which, you know, is acceptable for me. It's acceptable for me. So I kind of just... I, went ahead with it and uh put everything back together put my screws back in checked both my lenses everything was good so uh really simple if, if your camera port's spinning like that or you need to get inside of this thing it's it's no big deal it's a very simple thing to do so don't don't be afraid to do it